What is good? We're back. We got a little roster review for your pleasure. We got A. A. Ron from the uh, Patreon side of things. Cheers, mate. We got a 12 team super flex, full PPR, one quarterback, two running back, two wide receiver, one tight end, one flex, and one super flex. Start eight, bench 12, three taxi. Uh, he's com- uh, currently in a rebuild as the top contenders were pretty stacked for wide receiver and running back over the last two years. Uh, took some gambles last season in trading away the 2024 picks for players that did not completely turn out as he expected. Um, he needs to cut his roster, so he's got a couple extra guys on here. He wants to know if he should try to go get a top tier wide receiver uh, with a trade or play it out and try to draft one in 2025. Also wondering if I should try and aggressively get another 2025 first. So um, his draft picks currently, he has one first, one, two, three, four seconds, and then no other picks. So a lot of seconds. Love that. But I would probably say the diagnosis will be to get some more first. Uh, the starting lineup looks like this. He's got Kyler, Pollard, Jerome Ford, Judy, Ferguson, Benson, and Derek Carr with the wide receiver spot empty on the starting lineup here. Then he's got Aiden O'Connell, Drew Locke, Zach Wilson, Razi Zamet, the running back for the Chiefs that was a rugby, rugby player. player. Uh, Herbert, Brian Robinson, Evan Hall, A.T. Perry, Brandon Rice, A.D. Mitchell, Pearsall, Bub Means, Jacoby Myers, Elijah Moore, Wandell, Wicks, Stover, Dulcich. On the taxi, he's got a bunch of backup quarterbacks plus Penix. So Penix obviously still a backup. He's got Rattler. Did he have Carr? Yes. Uh, and then Jordan Travis. He's got Carr and a super flex. So like the taxi, good shots on the on the quarterbacks there. Yeah, fun taxi and a super flex. Three quarterbacks. Michael Penix being a name, a big name. Right. Certainly not a competitive team. He's got some parts and pieces around laying around here that are, that are pretty fun. First of all, to answer the question, I don't think you need to go pushing chips in to go get an elite wide receiver right this moment. If it, if it falls that way where you can find one, go for it. But that doesn't need to be like your only objective of, hey, I'm just trying to pick up this one elite wide receiver. Yeah, unless you feel like you got some inside information or you're like high, high on somebody that's not define elite right there's i don't know how many pieces you got to go get in a cd lamb and how much he can actually help you here you know we don't need to build it up before you go doing that right right i I, you got some holes obviously you don't have a wide receiver you know when jerry judy's in your starting lineup that (laughs) does not make you feel good jerome ford as well jerome ford could do some work this year and he's a nice late guy you know him and pollard obviously you got trey benson so your rookie drafts already happened Vincent could easily be your RB1 on your team moving forward. It value-wise, he obviously already is. I would be looking at trying to find the, a suitor. I'd be looking at packaging up Brian Robinson, trying to find a guy in your league that likes Brian Robinson the most. I'd be looking for that Tony Pollard truther. I assume that the the name of your t- I assume you have your first round pick next year. So in this league, in this team, you know, uh, you 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 first line of your request here was look at my team because i'm in the middle of a rebuild right so you you know you're in it you're in the middle of it here no need for pollard or ford to even be on your team Uh, and brian robinson as well right you're not making the playoffs and you're not gonna make any noise you could uh start there and be you know packaging up brian robinson and pollard to a team that thinks he can win and he only has like you know he has a good team but he only has you know say one running back say he's got Brees hall and some good wide receivers and a quarterback and you know no rb2 to speak of and you can come at him with pollard and brian robinson and say here you you know here you go that type of team you maybe the guys there's a guy out there with just Bijan or just Brees hall or it's you know just saquon or you know somebody that's really good but he has no buy backups really to speak of that's that's kind of team i'd be looking for to start my first package you do have a couple guys here and there that that you know will get you something where like a dontavian wicks to the right guy is worth a lot now you'd probably be better off waiting until week one or the preseason especially in the preseason if he could you know catch a, a nice couple balls or so uh, i think his value is only going to go up from here he could easily be the post hype you know sleeper next year because wicks yeah, yeah because you know if things work out for watson and dubs gets more playing time than you than you know the wicks lovers want him to and that stuff like you know everybody's young and 
Packers on the Packers and love is ascending. And I'm, I'm in no hurry to trade Wicks. Um, no, he, but his value could go up real quick or it could be like, all right, well, he's the guy that everybody wanted to happen and he didn't happen, you know, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. You can hang on to him. Yeah. He's um, also a really good piece to put in a deal to get it over the edge. For, exactly. For he's a very good piece to be like, well, this person's like, yeah, it's a fair deal, but I don't want to trade this guy or it's a fair deal, but I, I can't, I, I think I'm on, you know, get back to you later. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, all right, well, if I give you wicks and I'm not saying just throw in wicks. If the deal's not worth it, don't do that. But he is a really good player that people will give you something for. Ricky Pearsall, A.D. Mitchell, got some good young players there with lots of high upside there. So you got to like that. You really need something out of Elijah Moore, buddy. Um, <laughs> and, you know, Wandale, he could easily catch some passes week one. And, and I don't know what kind of trade value he's going to get you. Probably not much, but somebody, you know, Khalil Herbert. I mean, you're really looking to sell everything you got. That's, that would be my move. One of the things that I probably might not be as popular, you're in a total rebuild, right? Yeah. So I'd be looking to take advantage of a Kyler Murray hot start or hot season. I'm not in any tra- any hurry to trade him, but we've seen injuries out of Kyler Murray already. You ain't got a lot to hang your hat on here. So Kyler Murray is your most valuable piece. And mm-hmm. we've seen his style of play get him caught up in some traffic. Right. And one of the knee injuries, he was non-contact. I mean, he is an athletic freak. He's probably the most athletic player on the field. And that's saying a lot in most games, you know, the, to do what he's done in his, for his, in his career, not just football. He's all around. He's a total package. And if, uh, if I could get, if I could tear down off of Kyler Murray and, and, and make it safer and pick up something, that'd be a, that'd be a deal I'd be looking to, to I'd be looking for that deal. Yeah, no, that was one of the thoughts that popped into my head as well because you're not, you don't have a whole lot of high end stuff to make something happen, and you need a a, a little bit more of a reset here, right? Um, and unfortunately, it looks like from what I'm deciphering here, I can't see what your name is, but you don't have your own first round pick. Oh, you think a, not? I was hoping he did, which is a huge bummer, no, because all the picks that are his don't have a you know a name by quotation it. name by it. So that's a huge bummer. That's a huge um, bummer to kick off because you need to just suck yeah um you do have your own second um so you don't need to necessarily spite try to do some shit because you do at least have your own second but well that'd be the pick i went for first right so if it's possible the i'd be trying to get my first round pick next year uh you know that's not going to keep me from trading away tony pollard and ford you know in the right spot and brian robinson it's not going to keep me from doing anything i just told you that you should do but i did think that he had his own first I would be trying to go get my first back and that way you control you're not trading away all these pick pieces to build your team in the future obviously all these pieces that you're going to trade now is going to get you something back but if it's not your first round pick then of course your very next most valuable pick is going to go to somebody else and it's going to be highly valuable because you know you're not you're not going to do you're selling points off your team mm-hmm. so that that my first stop would be trying to figure out a, a trade to the guy who's got my first back. And if I could do it without having anything to do with Kyler Murray, great. If Kyler Murray's in the deal, I, I don't want to give up Kyler Murray for, you know, uh, you know it's going to be an early first because that's your whole point of doing this. So I, I'm not trying to give up Kyler Murray just for the first round pick because um, he's an absolute stud and his value has already come back to the end of the first round, early second, which is where it should have never left anyway. But that's not out of the question and off the table if that's the way it's got to be that Kyler Murray and you get your first back plus what or Kyler Murray and these running backs make it a make it a monster deal I'll mm-hmm. give you Kyler Murray I'll give you these running backs and I get my first back plus it you know some young good, wide receivers good player good player right. good player you know that's what I'd be looking to do yeah no I think I think that's a good a good starting point I think acquiring picks is is a good way to go here because it's just it's cheap insurance safe insurance they only they're not really going to go down they're only going to go up they can't Mm -hmm. get hurt all that hoopla that everybody talks about but i think honestly the position that you're in you have a lot of seconds try to go get some more first you got a couple of fun pieces from the draft this year with like you said mitchell and benson and pearsall and Penix, and you know yeah yeah you, you can keep those guys if you want if those guys will help you get some deals done you can do that but those guys are mostly going to be your non I don't nothing on this team should be untradeable. Right. And you should be doing kind of what you can, but you need to make, you know, be active and make some moves and and try to uh, acquire as many 
first round picks as you probably can here and then you can kind of decide what you want to do with those first round picks yeah i don't know how many first round picks you obviously right you're not you don't have a whole lot of ammo to do so. trading kyler is going to get you some get you some picks but at your fourth you, you got four seconds next year trading them around now is going to be trading them at a reduced value for sure so i don't i mean if 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 you got a good deal worked out and then having to throw in a, a pick or two that you already have then to make it work that's fine as long as you think the value is there on that but you trading away those you know you're not just going to go unload those four seconds right now um for a super you know like lower end price on those if that that's that's kind of going you know backwards too you could get a great like if you could give up a second next year for um a hollywood brown plus you know, you could play that game if you wanted to kind of middle manage a guy for a, a week or three at the start of the season. If you want to buy low on somebody and sell high later, if you want to kind of get really into the weeds with that, you could try to play something like that. But, you know, just saying I'm going to give I'll give you two seconds now for this unproven young player too might not be the best thing right this second. You know, if, right. it, unless that unproven young player is a is worth as much or more than what you're giving away, you know, and, it, and you've just come off your rookie draft. So not when many people are looking to give away that Brian Thomas Jr., uh, Lad McConkey, right. Xavier Worthy type thing. You're not going to, you know, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to just go grabbing two or three of your four, you know, these four second round picks and spending them. And unless you're getting, I mean, if you could give, you know, two away for uh, Brian Thomas, I'd do that in a heartbeat. Give the other two away from Lad Pop, Lad McConkey, I'd do that in a heartbeat. But I don't think that's the types of trades you're going to get done. You don't want to do a ton of projecting. You said that got you in trouble already. Mm -hmm. You know, wait until and this this kind of a like, hey, I'm this is the kind of roster review I like to try to you know help with people. It's like, all right, you don't have a great team, so practice some patience here. You're going to be active and you're going to go try to work something out. But those four second round picks, obviously, you might get unlucky, and that might be you know. A two three and a two seven and a two nine and a two eleven. You're not you're probably not going to be two one two 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 three, right? You're probably not going to get lucky enough to do that. But you might say, "Hey, I got a. De- I, I'm on the two year plan here, right?" So you might be in the draft next year, just trading back from those picks and trying to stockpile twenty twenty. You're going after you know, freaking cooper manning or whatever arch his name manning. Is. i'm you, you know you're looking for arch manning over here so yeah. this isn't going to be a one-year turnaround no i mean you could if you were super active and did a bunch of transactions you might could get you know turn the whole roster over and, and have something that looks okay but it, that's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort and you just you, you'd have to really really be active and catch just the best values you can get on all these guys like tony pollard to me right now like I don't even know if you even want to trade Tony Pollard at the moment. Like, no, but his ADP it, is high enough to where that means that right. some people so, are drafted. Like, there's a Tony Pollard lover, and he sure. might not be in your league. You just got to go find out. I'm looking at all these trades for Pollard right now on the Dynasty Daddy database that happened in the last couple of days, and they're not favorable. Sure, I'm sure. You know, you Pollard know. for Ray Davis and Mingo. No, thanks. You know, Pollard for Wicks. Maybe. No, thanks. Yeah. Wix is um, way down. You just gave up a ton. Wix right. is, is way. That's Pollard high. for three, four, and a second next year. No thanks. I'm keeping Pollard. Right, and then there's a bunch of combinations of stuff. Pollard and two six for Rashad White. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Pollard for Christian Kirk. Yeah, half PPR. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, so, and the last thing I would be looking into is keeping your eyes on the Saints offense as as they improve with a. 49ers Shanahan-esque type new system implementation. So you're not going to get any value on Derek Carr right now, but as the season starts and progresses, they might they might be better than some people think just because everybody likes to say Carr sucks and all this stuff. The whole Saints offense looked terrible last year. So that be, being a super flex, I'll be looking to find the right opportunity for Carr to either A, B, for a for him to be part of a, a a deal for you or b him be the kicker that gets a big deal done because you gave up a quarterback or a second quarterback if he's in the Kyler Murray deal like people in Superflex you know this is a I said it last time we really talked about stuff like that this is a short starting lineup in today's standards mm-hmm. you know two running backs two wide receivers a tight end one flex and a super flex so we did a whole show on four flex type team and how it waters down to quarterbacks and you didn't tell me if it was four touchdown pass or six touchdown pass or like stuff like that i imagine it looks like it's four because the quarterbacks uh projection totals are pretty low here 
Um, so it's probably four points per touchdown pass. But they still are very are weighted very heavy in a super flex because there's not that many starting running back quarterback, running back wide receiver tight ends to wash out their scores. Mm-hmm. If you're able to find a good pocket in the season or, you know, I guess it could happen super, you know, preseason you could get a really nice game out of the Saints offense and people be like, oh, you know what? Carr might not suck this year. Look at this new system. Yeah. And especially in a team like this might be in a home league where – People are really going to be slow to catch up to new thing, like the new offense, the transition of the offensive coordinator and stuff like that. And the, the, for the Saints, so you know, degenerates like us, we we're into that in March, right? Right, we're digging into that April, May, June. Like your guys that you might be trying to trade away Derek Carr to, they not ready for that. They're not ready for that, right? You know, so you got to let that breathe for a minute. But look for that opportunity, like Casey was saying. You got to be highly active to turn this around. You're obviously into it. You've sent this into us. You're joined to Patreon. You're you're here to do it, and we're happy to help. Yeah, I mean the the next little piece of advice I'd have before we wrap up is is you got to now hold your do, don't be getting rid of any of your future picks ha, like your personal picks. Right. Hang on to those for a minute. Like the only reason I'm trading your own 2025 second is if it that helps me get my first back. Yes, exactly. You know, the only case right? because you know that twenty twenty five seconds is going to be early because you're about to, you know, right. just basically gut your team and bring yeah, it in. You're going to future. Be, you're probably looking like you said at at two years before you got a a squad that you like. Um, it's going to be tough to do this in in one. You got some fun pieces like Jerome Ford. If I could get a two for Ford right now, I'd probably do that. Pollard, I'd probably hold and see if I can, you know, have him be a phoenix and and rebirth uh, a little bit here. Benson. Yeah, nothing says Taji Spears can't get hurt, and Pollard right. could have a or um, Pollard just have the the job from the jump, and and people could be excited week two on Pollard. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's possible. Just, oh, Pollard. You know, Christian Kirk had a zero week one last year. Mm-hmm. People were like, oh, full on panic mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pollard could have two games where he's the guy for the first two games, and everyone's like, oh, look at the opportunity share. Look at this. Look at that. Mm-hmm. He's over Pollard, and then all of a sudden it flips. So Pollard. If you can get a deal in a package, I'd I would move Pollard, but I'd probably wait. Kyler's the tear down move. I think is your best starter um, yeah. of of how to start kick this thing off if you can find. But I would be actively trying to get my first back mm-hmm. before I did anything. Yeah. Again, because that once you start selling pieces, it's very obvious to everybody. I mean, you you know you you need to get your best looking lineup in here. So when your teammates, when your league mates are looking at your team, it's not glare. You know, let's let's. Flip some people around, even if you got to put Pearsall and uh, and you know Pearsall in the lineup, and you know just pick the best names you can pick, and and fluff this thing up a little bit, mm-hmm. so your next year's first doesn't look as valuable, and go from there. Try yeah, to get it back. You got guys like Wandell and Elijah and Jacoby and uh, Wandell and Jacoby, especially. Nobody's a lot of people aren't going to give you proper value on those guys until you're in season and those guys are getting 12 points a game and somebody's like, ooh, I could use 12 points a game in my Yeah, and you give them all three and, of them if you have to. Right, right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, there's really nothing untouchable on this team. Pearsall might be one of the closest things you might be able to flip for a first for somebody who's trying to crystal ball it and see Ayuk getting moved or Debo getting moved. Mm-hmm. I'm not necessarily saying I would for sure do that, right? Uh, but I, I don't hate it. Uh, because you're just so far away of where you need to be. I just There's no clear plan of exactly how this thing's going to get pieced back together, and there shouldn't be. You should be... Yeah, you should make a couple of good fun moves or bring them to us if you need to. Send it into the chats and say, hey, here's here's what I got. Now, if it's so good, don't bring it to us. If it's really that good, hey, if, if you get a chance and somebody sent in a, something the other day that was a really good trade and then you know by the time we saw it they're like oh well the guy changed his mind if, if it's a smash accept hit it yeah take it but if it's not don't be in a rush yeah all right well that's going to wrap up this one appreciate you thanks for sending this in if you want a roster review potential you can come over to the discord side of things and uh we hammer some of those out in the patreon as well uh we're gonna We've been doing this all off season. Sometimes we hammer out four or five of them. Sometimes it, uh, you know, it's only one or two. Yep. So tonight we got one for you. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.